Got him. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Logan coming at you from Hunting Pros, and welcome back to another video. I just finished eating my breakfast, and I'm about to head over to my buddy Charles's place to pick him up. We are heading up country today, guys, with my two dogs, Twiggy and Target, and we're going for some snowshoe hares. Super pumped to get back out in the woods. We got a ton of rain yesterday. I'm talking like 30 to 40 mils. So I'm really hoping that that moisture is kind of locked in the earth and creates really good scenting conditions for the dogs. If there's too much water, though, it might be a little iffy for them if there's a lot of puddles and stuff. But I guess we're going to have to see. I'm pretty hopeful about these two spots that we're going to go to. I think we're going to switch halfway through the day, uh, hit the first spot, um, which is kind of on the way to the second spot. So it's going to work out, I think. But anyway, super stoked to get out. If you guys do enjoy this video, please slap the like button and also subscribe and stick around to the end. Got him. My <laughs> gun got stuck on the tree. Did it? <laughs> he wasn't running too fast. I think you might have hit him. Yeah. Good dog. Good dog. Good boy, Target. <laughs> there we go. That's one. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Well, we have another hare on the go here, um, and he crossed right through here about 10 meters in. Um, so Charles is set up at the top of the hill over there, um, kind of looking through the big woods, and I'm sitting kind of basically right on its path. So hopefully he comes back through. Well, today for a gun, guys, I'm using my Remington 870 Special Field Model and 20 gauge and Kent Ultimate Fast Lead number six shot. Well, guys, that hare was on a rip for a while. Um, he ran a circle. Geez, I'll show you on the end of here. He ran a circle like probably seven or eight times. I was waiting here because he came through the stick at five or six times, but I just heard a shot and I heard Charles yell he got him. So awesome. That's two down. You got him. Oh, yeah. Must have been zigzagging because the dogs were over here. Then they were over here. Then they were over here. And then I see the flash. I'm like, I think that was a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> then the thing came bucking back and the dogs were right on him. Yeah, I heard one shot and then I heard, got him! So I knew you got him. Yeah. He doesn't look blown up too bad, so. No, no I got him right, right in the front. You painted the burst tree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, it's super warm out. The dog just started up another one and I think it's headed this way. So with any luck, Charles or I will get it. Got him! So warm, I had to take my jackets off. Good dogs! Good dogs! Here, 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 here! Ho oh, ho! Big fluffy rabbit! Oh my! Here he is! Here he is! Here he is! Geez, he's almost all brown, that guy! I'm actually pretty impressed with today so far. The scenting's been really good. And uh, we're on hair number three. But anyway, it's, it's been a great day so far. We, Charles and I actually scouted the spot um, a few weeks ago, ran the dogs, we killed one. The scenting wasn't that great, but we kind of figured that the territory was right for hares. And uh, I guess we're right. It's just been one after the other today. And my glasses are still steaming up because of how warm it is. So anyway, kind of strange for the middle of February. Always got to pick up the empties. Try this, stick it out.
Don't know if I got him or not. It's kind of far the way he was running. Oh, I got him. Got him! Unless that was a stray, I should probably wait just in case. I was wrong guys, uh, that wasn't a stray. The dogs were just about a hundred yards behind it. Here, 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 good dogs. Twiggy up here, Twiggy up here, Twiggy up here. Good dog, oh, there you go, good girl. Good boy, <laughs> there you go, buddy. You got him. <laughs> She's a heavy old dog, isn't she? Well guys, we're up to four hairs, we're doing okay. Um, we're gonna switch spots now. We're gonna jump in the truck and go for like a 20, 20 minute drive or so, sip on the old coffee and uh, hopefully get into a couple more. If not, oh well, we still had a great day, but uh, stay tuned. I know I'm really living the lavish life here, guys, but I'm eating a good old sushi burrito for lunch. Tasty. Ready to try spot number two? We made it to our second spot, so uh, we haven't hunted this yet this year. So hopefully with any luck, we'll get another one. Well guys, they're on one and they're hitting it pretty hard. And uh, it just crossed the main little skitter road that we walked in on and Charles is out there. So hopefully he gets this one. If not, he crossed right through here about five minutes ago. So maybe I'll get him. Good dogs, good dogs. Here, 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 here. Down, down, down. Good dogs. Target down. That was a long chase, guys. Really, really long chase. Wow, like an hour and a half, probably. I fired at him, and he kept, he would never run the same way twice. You have a good run, girl? Hmm? You have a good run? Not bad for a 10 year old dog. Good girl, come on. They put on over 30 kilometers. Yeah. That's a pretty good burn, especially with some crunchy snow. Well guys, considering the season that we've been having here in Nova Scotia, Charles and I had an awesome day. We went to spot number one, we killed four hares, and the dogs picked up another one really quick. But we pulled the dogs and we got out of there. We didn't want a ton of hunting pressure in the spots because, you know, it's been a bad year and we want them to repopulate in these areas because these are my regular hunting spots. So anyway, we killed four in the first spot, one in the last spot. There's still a ton of opportunity here for next year. If you did enjoy this video, please slap the like button and also subscribe. And of course, as always, stay tuned for next time.